Don't change your character that got you to where God has placed you. It is not just about you. It is about the grace of God. And don't let God regret choosing you. The Bible says God regretted choosing Saul. The same Saul that was timid, the same Saul that was shy, became the Saul that can no longer listen to instruction. Yeah, and also, if you look at the story of David, the Bible says to us in 1 Samuel, okay, maybe I should first of all talk about his success. According to 2 Samuel chapter 11, the Bible recorded this very David, wonderful David that loved to go to battle, that became a star because God used him to win a battle. In those days, the Bible says, I think I should read. I'm reading from, I'm reading 2 Samuel 11, 1 to 4. I'll just read 1 and 4. The Bible says, and in the spring of the year, when kings normally go out to war, David sent Joab and Israelite army to fight the Ammonites. They destroyed the Ammonite army and had siege and laid siege to the city of Rabbah. However, David stayed behind in Jerusalem. You know the story. Verse 4. Then David went, sent messengers to get her, and when she came to the palace, he slept with her. She had just completed the purification rite after having a menstrual period. Then she returned home. Now you know the story. David calls, if he had gone to war, where he should be? The same war that used to go that made him to become the man of war, the mighty man of valor, the man that God smiled on. But he had sent messengers to go, sent his army to go, and he stayed at home. Sir, I do mind. Is the workshop of the devil. If you stop being active as God has been helping you before, because now you are a champion, you are a star, you are the king, you are the CEO, and you no longer go out, you can lose everything, man. David slept with a woman. He would have never seen that woman if he was where he should be. This is the David in 1 Samuel chapter 22, was running from cave to cave. In fact, the Bible says, verse 1 and 2. So David left God and escaped to the cave of Adulam. Soon, his brothers and all the other relatives joined him there. Then others began coming, men who were in trouble or in debt or who were discounted. Until David was the captain about 400 men. And he now he has 400 men, he's a big man when he became king. In those days when he moved from cave to cave, he knew how to be where he should be. I pray for you. May comfort of success not take you away from success, not take you away from God. The Lord bless you.